So I know how incredibly lucky I am. I've got an amazing family who I adore and I think they adore me too. I've got an amazing house. The job that I do is not like a job, it is amazing, I love it. Basically I just have fun, experiment, do the things that I love to do all day long, which you just doesn't get any better than that. And I know I'm incredibly lucky in these ways because Himo told me, check out this message for, that I got from him. Now the story about this message is probably for another time, but what you should also do is check out the video when Himo came over on the Spen and Nick show, episode 48. That was a cool one. I loved it. But here's the thing. Sometimes you only realise how lucky you are when something bad happens. Hey man, um, very honestly, I, I don't get it. It doesn't really make any sense to me. I think I think the other one's better, but... Okay. Bro, see what you can do. So let me explain what's happening here. Nick and I had just done the best Spend Nick show and then we wanted to create a great thumbnail because a thumbnail is probably the most important element of your YouTube video. So we created one, we we're pretty happy with it and then Nick decided that he wanted to create a new one and he sent it over in WhatsApp. My heart sank because I just didn't get it. It didn't work for me, it didn't kind of tell the story that we wanted to tell. I am incredibly lucky, as I said at the beginning of this video, because I can have that conversation with Nick and you have to have those hard conversations. You have to take on board that critique, take on board that feedback in order to become better. So we want to constantly be improving what we're doing. So the importance of feedback is huge. And it's something that we talk about a lot, which is an amazing video by John Cleese on creativity in management. He talks about this idea of creative discomfort. Now this is basically when you sit with a problem or a pain in order to be the most creative you can. And this is exactly what I kind of forced Nick to do. He came back with something much, much better. And actually I think the early indications of that video are that it was really successful. People who are the most creative are the people that sit with that discomfort for the longest. Embracing that creative discomfort can be incredible. It can be hard to do, but it can take your journey of creativity in a whole new way, in a whole new direction. And I think that we've got to take some lessons from John Cleese about how to be creative and sitting for as long as possible with that discomfort because you will get better results at the end of it. So thank you so much for watching. This is a start of a journey for me on my own, but I'd love it if you can like and share. And please subscribe. I've got a very small number of subscribers so far, but I do want to grow this. I want to improve what I'm doing. I want to get my videos better and I want more people to see them. So please, if you subscribe, that's going to really help me out a huge amount with this journey. Thanks so much and I'll see you again next time. Damn!